All right, we've turned off our brand ads. How do we interpret the results? Uh, so you can see the ads are running for quite a while. Uh, and then around here, we turn them off. Uh, we went from 56% share to 14% share, turned it off halfway through that day. Uh, so uh, the share quickly dropped to zero um, as uh, you know all the kind of clicks from the campaign started to get registered uh, in analytics. And um, you know there were no more kind of URL codes uh, uh, trading around. Uh, so uh, specifically, the paid traffic is from analytics. Um, uh, anything that came through with a brand campaign uh, UTM um, uh, URL parameter. Uh, and then organic traffic is anything to the home page uh, from uh, organic SEO. Uh, and if you add them up together, that's total brand traffic. Cool. So um, how do we interpret this analysis? So um, let's look at, uh, let's, let's actually kind of rank this or show this visually uh, in a chart so we can see what effect is happening. Uh, so I just selected it and then I went to insert chart. If I get rid of total traffic, um, we want to show this as a stacked area chart. Um, and that's going to kind of add the two together. So, uh, you know, this red line here uh, is the sum of the, the blue and the red. Um, so, so you can see total traffic uh, was like, you know, pretty spiky. Uh, there was a dip here right when we turned things off. Uh, but then there have been a few other spikes. So it actually doesn't look like, you know, the total traffic is down that much. Organic traffic actually increased uh, pretty considerably uh, compared to where it was before. Um, so it looks like not all of the uh, clicks from brand were incremental, uh, which is exactly what we expected to see. Uh, but how much? Um, so uh, first we need to choose two different periods. Uh, we're gonna work out the, you know, we need to work out the traffic before um, the traffic after, and these will be averages, um, and then we're going to find the difference between them. Uh, the other thing uh, we want to be able to do is um, look at the paid before, so how much paid traffic there was before, um, and then uh, paid uh, incremental, so how much of that was actually incremental, um, and then uh, that, that should give us a good idea of uh, what we want to um, you know, what we want to decide about whether to turn this back on. Okay, cool. So uh, traffic before, let's choose two equal periods. We're going to start on the Monday here at the beginning. I'm going to go Monday to Sunday and then Monday to Sunday again. We're going to take two weeks and that kind of balances out any, um, you know, any, any kind of fluctuations in the data. Uh, it's, uh, we want to, you know, we don't want to have like say one weekend in this period and then no weekends in the period after, uh, because uh, then if there's an effect on the weekend, you know, traffic's higher, uh, then it's going to bias the results of our test. Um, we also don't want to go straight from this Monday because you can see we, we have at least one day uh, where the brand ads were still on. And also, um, you know, you can take, it takes some time for behavior to filter through the system. Just want to give it some breathing room and kind of, uh, you know, look at the data after the results of switching it off settled. So uh, we're going to skip this week. We're just going to go Monday uh, to Sunday um, uh, to twice here. So uh, this is up to Sunday and then up to Sunday again. And that's going to be our test period. Cool. Uh, so let's look at the average, average traffic for that period per day um, was uh, 11,000, I'm just going to format that as a number, 11,495. And what was the traffic after? And that's this red period here. Okay, so that's 9,961. Uh, so what's the difference? Uh, if you want to take 9,961 divided by uh, the previous number and then minus one. Um, and then we're just going to format that as a percentage. Uh, so minus 13%. So uh, we actually uh, lost 13% of our traffic. Okay. Um, so uh, so that's interesting, right? It's not um, you know, not a huge drop. Uh, uh, and it might actually be worth it uh, if that's um, the author was incremental. So let's work out how much um, you know, specific traffic we dropped, like how much uh, traffic we would have got if uh, if we had kept paid ads on, so um, uh, so if we had the average of uh, the paid ads before, uh, so how much traffic did we get 
before on an average day from paid ads. Um, so that was uh, 6,000. I'm just going to kind of copy this formatting here. Uh, so 6,166, that was how much um, traffic we, uh, we would normally get on an average day. Um, and then uh, we want to figure out uh, basically, you know, what is the difference between uh, before and after? So we're going to take 11,495 minus 9,961. Uh, so we, uh, we, we lost 1,500 clicks per day. Uh, so that was uh, the part that was incremental. Um, so uh, so uh, paid incrementality. In this case, uh, if we are driving 6,000 paid clicks, uh, then, and only 1,500 of them uh, was incremental, uh, then the incrementality for that channel is, uh, you know, about 25%. Um, and that means, you know, if we were, uh, you know, previously spending, um, you know, 10 cents a click, uh, then in reality, our true, um, you know, cost per click uh, was actually four times higher than that, um, you know, so 40 cents a click. We can figure out whether that's worth it to us or not. Okay, hey, hopefully that's helpful. Um, this is a really useful type of analysis. You can do it pretty much on any channel uh, because every channel has the option to turn things off and on again. Uh, it's not fully scientific as an A-B test, but usually uh, it's not possible to run a full A-B test, um, on, especially across multiple channels. Okay, thanks. Hopefully that was useful.